This song was written by Mac Beattie. It's a true story. The train wreck at Almond. In the year of 42, the last week of December, on a stormy winter's night, when the wind blew cold and raw, and the passengers and crew climbed aboard the Pembroke Local, fresh from Christmas celebration, destination Ottawa. And a cold wind was blowing down the tracks they were going, and the locomotive labored hard his heavy load to draw. But how little did they know that disaster lay at Alma, all aboard the Pembroke Local destination Ottawa. It's a hundred miles or more from Ottawa to Pembroke, and the engineer was trying his best to make up time. They were losing all the while with the long stops at each station and gaining far behind them came the troop train down the line. And a cold wind was blowing down the tracks they were going and the locomotive labored hard as heavy load to draw. But how little did they know that disaster lay at Alma all aboard the Pembroke local destination Ottawa. The coaches were all filled as they pulled out of on prior. They were packed into the aisles, any place where they could jam. Little lonesome whistle shrill, the firemen stoked the fire. They were cruising but still losing as they went through Packingham. And a cold wind was blowing down the tracks they were going, and the locomotive labored hard as heavy load to draw. But how little did they know that disaster lay at Almond all aboard the Pembroke local destination Ottawa. Well, they entered Almond town, they pulled into the station when around the curve behind them came a piercing whistle scream. With a mighty rushing sound, the troop train was upon them through the noise, crashing coaches, you could hear the dying scream. And a cold wind was blowing down the tracks they were going, and the locomotive labored hard as heavy load to draw. But how little did they know that disaster lay at Almond all aboard the Pembroke local destination Ottawa. There were heroes made that night of courageous Almont people as they worked among the living, dead and dying too. There were many killed that night, valley people will remember of the fateful Almont train wreck in December 42. And a cold wind was blowing down the tracks they were going, and the locomotive labored hard as heavy load to draw. But how little did they know that disaster lay at Almond all aboard the Pembroke local destination Ottawa.